we're at parkour just a few days ago this was the scene of tns's 3-1 victory against the slovakians you've had a few days to reflect scott what are your thoughts now yeah, really really happy um, positive mood around the, the football club because when you um, when you have good results and you put good performances on then um, it, it does lift everybody so yeah uh, pleased uh, proud of the players how we um how we went about our job and obviously an excellent result on the night as well and the draw was made for the second qualifying round that's a trip to the faroe islands familiar territory for the new saints yeah been there before um just heard that we were playing at the national stadium we were playing at their stadium just just um next door to it so yeah we know the area we obviously stayed there previously five years ago was it something like that so had a good result on the night there so hope the omens are with us it's um familiar-ish we know sort of about their league and, and the teams that play in their league and the style of football so it's not completely the unknown which is always uh, favorable in a draw like that it was july uh, 2015 we won 2-1 there 4-1 back here at Park Hall. but of course football is very transient it changes so how would you anticipate that particular game working out in context of how we conquered the Faroese last time round? Yeah, obviously if there's, if there's similar players that have, have been in and around that time um, the, the manager has played for uh, the Faroe Isles he's, he's played for B36 he's made a lot of appearances for them so he's in charge of a team that you know he's he's got his, his way of playing so he'll know a lot about um, the, the league and his team they've got a Danish boy I think they've got um, another nationality but they're mostly made up of, of Faroese players who are, who are local to the to that league as well so they'll have a good togetherness so they'll be they'll be strong in position you know you can't take any any team for granted that either win the league or come second or, or, or cup winners in their league so yeah we'll, we'll be doing the homework today and tomorrow um, get that done straight away between the coaches got the footage so making making aware of the, the players just like we've done previously and and year on you year on year out we you know we make sure that the opposition are, are really looked at in detail so that the players can then you know have a good think about it and, and know who they're playing against and we certainly don't want to be running ahead of ourselves but the third round as draw has also been made this afternoon and should we beat b36 we have a another trip on the road to bulgaria or to belarus yeah both again uh, tough opponents but you get to the second, third round. There's no, there's no easy games because, like I said, they're they're either come through the champions path now, or they're second, third in their league in Europa. So, yeah, Barte Borisov, yeah, strong, strong Champions League, um, you know, entrance every year. You see them. In CSK Sofia. We've already played them. I, I played in the game against them away and home, so I'll know a little bit about the obviously the team and, and where they play at the national stadium. I think if they if they stu still stu play still do play there so yeah tough opponents but we're not looking at that yet we're looking at uh, preparing for first and foremost um, friendly Saturday Barry Town a week after and obviously the Thursday after that the Pharaohs and uh, Wednesday after well that was my next question before we can really focus on the European adventures it's Barry Town United in the JD Cymru Premier yeah um, yeah obviously familiar opposition played them a few weeks ago in, in a friendly um, so obviously know the signings they've made and, and how they're you know how they're looking so yeah tough opening day one I think we've it's the first time we've been away from home in the starting game starting uh, league for for a number of years we seem to have a home tie a uh, home leg sorry you know first game of the season usually can't remember the last time Rev, you may you may know better but um, first time on the road for a while and Scott, I was going to ask you about these friendlies. Can we play one on Anglesey against a particular club? And then, following the final whistle, I can ask you how the match against Slanvaya Puth Gwyn, Geth Gogadok, Windrow Boyth, Frantisilio Goga Gork went. And I mention that because you've been learning Welsh, haven't you, in recent times? I have, yeah. I'll have to practice a little bit to do it, um, to do it on, the, on the camera and stuff. But yeah, I have. I enjoy it. Um, it's something in lockdown that I was doing every single day um, so I had uh, my, my my training book coaching book a lot of that was in the front part is um, coaching and drills and whatever else and then in the back part is Welsh so I've got down a few pages I've got four or five pages filled up there with with Welsh so 
Um, next time you come on, I'll, I'll be more prepared and I'll have something for you because I don't like to just uh, get something out of there. But that was, that was very good, Rev. I, uh, uh, you've been practising that, obviously. <laughs> very good. Well, Scott, like me, you were born in England, but you have Welsh heritage. Yeah. How important to you is your Welsh roots? Very much so. Dad's Welsh. Dad was born in Wales. Uh, I play for the semi-pro Wales team. So, yeah, it's, it's one where we've got, obviously, family heritage, like you say, and I, f- I feel it's important that if you're, a, if you're a manager or a coach in this league that you, you pick up certain bits, you know. Um, I know a l- I'm a lot better at writing Welsh, and if I was to read Welsh, I can, I can um, certainly know more f- familiar words, but I, I'm getting there on the, on the Welsh speaking, but I just need more people to, to practice and speak to. Obviously, message you now and again, and, um, uh, and Leo I've done as well because of his Welsh, he's obviously a fluent Welsh speaker, so yeah, um, long may it continue. Simon Spender thinks he can speak a bit of Welsh, puts it together and um, sometimes it does make sense, sometimes it doesn't, but yeah, I feel it's, it's important if you're um, in any league that you, you know a little bit of the language and, and you, can, you can pick up little bits of conversation as well when, when people do um, interview and stuff, so yeah, I feel it's important. Scott, thank you for your time today. Dilkenvar. Dilkenvar.